Okay. So what is association? So association, uh, just simple word. It's an ship between two object. Okay. So for example, if I take company business unit. So we also we have the division. So if you explain one relationship, it will understand automatically. So we have the uh, offices in India and USA. Okay. So company in India, we have, for example, 2000. In US, we have the 2001. So business unit could be uh, R&D in India. And also we have the consulting. But in ES, we have the sales. Also, we have the consulting. And we have the HR operations in ES. So, here we have the fields in job information. Also, similarly, uh, we have in the position also. So, normally, we will create it in both the places. Job info portlet and uh, position portlet. My requirement is when I select 2000 here, both R&D, okay, consulting should be shown here. It should not be shown sales and operations, okay. So these two should be shown here when you select 2000. In case if I select 2001, so I should be able to show or drop down all the three, okay. So this will be controlled configuring the association it's very simple so association can be uh, there are multiple uh, just one minute. so here we can expect the four kind of association okay so one is mdf object to mdf object okay on the mdf object to f and F4 to F4 and uh, F4 to MDF object. Now just take example company to business unit. Okay. So coming to F4 to F4. Uh, so we have the location for example location to location. Coming to F4 to MDF F4 location to company. So normally this uh, uh, will uh, so okay. For example, uh, we have created one custom MDF. So we have location, uh, location group, and say I would say uh, sub location. location sub location when i say location sub location should be filtered okay so that can be possible so here i can say uh, custom sub location and here is the location okay so this is the normal for expected combination uh, we could expect in any of the project now what is the thumb rule here See, for example, now if I take the uh, business unit, company business unit. So, company is the parent object. Okay, business unit is the child. Then we have to create the association inside the child object using the company. In case if I am making association division to the business unit, so business unit will become the parent object and division will become the child object. Then I need to configure the association inside the child object of this division using the business unit. This is the sum thumb rule. If you know this, then there is no confusion. Next, so what would be uh, what what are the steps to we need to configure now association? Step one, so we need to create the association between the object. So this I already explained association between object. Second one is we need to create the master data. Okay, 
master data it can be manage organization paint job structure or in manage data third one is those fields you should be used in the job info or position object or position uh, fourth step is uh, in both the places we should configure something called field criteria so even though if you all this configured okay then if you are not configured this one what happens in case if i example if i select the company 2000 i could able to see both uh, combinations like here we have the sales consulting hr additional one is rd okay so here i can see the irrespective of company i could able to see all these four values okay so this is very important free criteria because in one of the even linkedin someone asking for some help so just right away i you know i arranged stuff now uh taking the, her resume under so i asked that what is the uh, i asked for what no, no com uh, configuration for the association she explained this one and this one but she could not able to explain this one then i cross question she is saying that it's not mandatory but still works but thousand percent sure it will not work configuration of this one okay so these are the four steps if you remember then working on the association is very simple so let's start in the system so and also we could expect another one uh, combination that i will explain then we'll go to system so company business unit division department and cost center so sometimes client will ask uh, they will ask you that if i select division department then only uh, cost center should be filtered yes it is possible but however in case if you are working implementing the project for multiple for some people department is the non mandatory field assume okay then if i select only division this will not work cost center in the cost center again if you have the configure the association both division department then what happens this will become an uncondition okay so in position item the job information in the both the fields i should maintain some data as for the this configuration you have to make this cost center to relationship to division and department so if you have that association then what happens so if you select division here department uh, if they're not selected this will not be filtered it will their system it show null value here okay so we had this requirement uh, in 2016 for one of the client so but uh, for one of the location or uh, one of the country this was not a mandatory field not department so we had some level like uh, cluster and a segment and some other levels so in one of the field is not mandatory then we have started facing issue so we raised the ticket SAP confirmed that if we have like one object to multiple object association then it will become a uncondition okay so that scenario should be very careful so let's go to the system now